Google is making it easier for you to control what personal information is available on the internet. You can now change your settings by simply Googling yourself. <laughs> CNET senior editor Jeff Bacalar is here to talk about this. So explain exactly what Google's doing. You Google yourself, right? No, I would never do yeah, that. No. That is an I indication of that. some That's sort of narcissistic right. personality. <laughs> not Who me. Googles this themselves? This is perfect <laughs> for the narcissists in the world because now there's like functionality there's behind. There's a reason right. to They're Google infinite yourself. vanity, right, for sure. So yeah, if you Google your name and you're logged into Google, you can access your privacy settings, which before were sort of buried in all of the other junk that Google offers you. So you have a lot of control. People don't really realize how much is there. Mm -hmm. But I thought that a friend told me that when you pull yourself up on Google, yeah. that it already says this is only what you can see, not what somebody else can see. Right, so I that's that. like search. <laughs> you, I, you're well researched in this <laughs> department. <laughs> That's uh, for the results, right? That's like the organic results okay. that'll show up. So there's certain information that they'll put on the sidebar that says like your hometown or your date of birth or your social security. No, right. no, I was like, Wait, why? Yeah. Oh, it goes deep. Yeah. It goes really. Deep. So, uh, so yeah, that's you know for when you want to make sure people aren't able to see your personal information. But now, in addition to that stuff being there, you'll have this little button that gives you access to all of the various granular you know security details that you can. Uh, change around. So this is strictly about blocking people from getting information about you. Are you getting a snapshot of what uh, they already know about you? No, well, so it's not about people like blocking other people. Okay. It's more saying, hey, Google, I don't want you to track my phone, my movements, wherever mm. I go. I think that stuff is kind of on by default. Mm. That's what they sort of use to figure out traffic patterns and delays in navigation and stuff like that. And advertising? And advertising, mm. for sure. Um, and you can sort of opt out of stuff like, oh, I don't want Google ads targeting me. You can also go in there, and the last time I was in that, it's a rabbit hole, all the settings. The last time I was there, there was a setting that sort of explained what Google thinks you are. Oh, so when I went gosh. in there, it was like, oh, you're a 20 to 45 male. <laughs> you know, it's based like on like you're, all the comic books you buy. Yeah, you're into comic books and hockey. <laughs> We know you're standing up right now, like stuff like that. That's Mine would awesome. say something like, "You have an unnatural interest in unicorns." And the only I have a five-year-old kid. Everything I Google sure. is unicorns, uh, rainbows, and pink things. All right, so you're gonna get targeted. Well, like, it's, it's funny. You it's don't not want, accurate. You don't want Google to be your psychiatrist. You don't no. want Google to say like, "These are all the things that make up you." But who knows you better? Google does. Yeah, man. Oh. They, I really think Google knows you better than the government does. Like that whole census. The census should be done by Google. Like they should do that. Yeah, That's I'm kinda, telling you, that is kind of my. But moment. it just makes more sense. They just you give so much information to them. And again, like I don't want to. Yeah, you, you know, well, you're doing people it. Be you're us a out. little bit, but yeah. I have like a casual delivery, and right. it's <laughs> easier to swallow. I think. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think everyone needs to. Google themselves when and they're logged yeah. in. Check it out because you know a lot of the stuff is actually beneficial. They have this. If you use an Android phone, they have a really sort of cool thing where you can track your phone if it goes missing. You uh, you search "find my phone" and it'll ring your phone if you want if you lost it. So there's a lot of powerful tools there. So why is Google doing this? Why offer this? So I think a lot of it has to do with transparency. Privacy concerns are starting to become a thing. Po in our post-Snowden era, people are way more cognizant of what they're doing, especially with their Google searches. And I think it's just a good move to sort of provide that transparency and say, hey, this is, you know, the settings were always there. Here's a bit more easier access to that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, you can have easier control over what exactly Google's collecting, what you don't want them to collect. It's nice to have much more easier access, even if you have to be a narcissist and Google yourself yeah, to just, get there. I'll just make sure I clear my history the next that, time I do Clear that. history <laughs> is my life's motto. Exactly. Yeah. Jeff Bacalar, thanks so much, man. Appreciate you got it. it.